the bitter, the chipper, lower side, the stir, obsessive, compulsive, anal, expulsive, Q-tip addict, sociopathic, narcissist, everyone's favorite anarchist, St. Reverend Jen, St. Reverend Jen, not just another LSD casualty, she rocks the whole galaxy with her elf pals Roy and G. Not to mention Bib, her unicorn friend, who always has a hook to lend. Soon she won't have to pretend that she's actually famous. Saint Reverend Jen, Saint Reverend Jen, Saint Reverend Jen, Saint Reverend Jen. Dear Jimmy Page, hello. My name is Reverend Jen and I live in a troll museum with a chihuahua named Reverend Jen Jr. You are my favorite rock star in the whole world. I don't care if you sold your soul to Satan. It was worth it because all of the joy you've spread to the masses young and old. I know you're busy, but maybe if you have time, you could fly to New York and visit my troll museum, which features a troll shanty with the Houses of the Holy poster in the Trolls' bedroom where two trolls are doing it. Maybe after I show you my museum, we could go to a movie. The popcorn is my treat! <laughs> do you like horror films? I do. And I've heard that the emotions one experiences during the viewing of a horror film are similar to the ones experienced upon falling in love. That is one experiment we'll have to try to prove. Anyway, if you can't come to New York, maybe I could come to Scotland and visit you in Aleister Crowley's old castle where you live and we could invoke his spirit through sexual magic. I won't get in the way, I promise. And if that's not possible, maybe we could just be pen pals. I look forward to hearing your response. Your most obedient and humble servant, St. Reverend Jen. Wow, that is some letter. The only thing that would make it better is if you sprayed it with a little perfume, maybe. Good idea, Roach. There. He'll for sure want to be your boyfriend now. Oh, hello, everyone, and welcome to Reverend Chen's Really Cool Neighborhood. I'm your host, Reverend Chen, and this is my co-host, Reverend Jen Jr. This is our friend Roach. We live here in the world famous Troll Museum in a magical land called the Lower East Side. So glad you could join us. Today's episode is all about rock and roll. Did you know that a lot of rock musicians use alcohol and drugs to stave off boredom and enhance their lives? So today, we're going to do not only alcohol, but also drugs. Let's start with drugs. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, hello, Tokimon Delivery Service. Bobby Nickelbag speaking. Hello. I'd like to order a large bag of marijuana. Okay, that'll be $75. $75? How am I supposed to come up with that kind of money? Well, <laughs> $75 seems reasonable. Okay, I'll be right there. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Delivery! That was fast. Here's your weed. Thanks, Bobby. Wow, Bobby, would you like to smoke this with me? Sure, do you have a bong? I don't know what that is. Um, do you have any papers? I have stationery that I use to write to my pen pals. 
Um, look, do you have anything commonly used for smoking marijuana? I don't know. I've never smoked marijuana. What about this pipe? It said at the store it was for tobacco use only. Well, it'll have to do. Wow. Well, while you're at it, Bobby, maybe you could show me and everybody else in the really cool neighborhood how you smoke marijuana out of a pipe. I'd be glad to, Reverend Jen. Okay, now first what you would do is take out the ste seeds and the stems, okay? And they, they, they made this thing, and it's called the Blue Lagoon, okay? So you and remember, kids, just in case our friendly neighborhood policeman, Officer Frenulum, shows up, you didn't see any drugs. Yeah, <laughs> it makes you feel like you're swimming. <laughs> I feel like I'm swimming with brook shields. Naked. Yeah, it's good stuff. I totally have a contact high. to hold something, Bobby? <laughs> Don't steal a race to make it's my money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye! Bye! Match this pig. Bye! Bye! Bye, hug! Delivery! It's your man, China, the mailman. Hey, Reverend Jen. Hey, Reverend Jen Jr. Hey, Roach. Hey, Mangina. Say, Reverend Jen, this parcel smells kind of funny. That's because it contains plutonium. I need it for my time machine. How did you build a time machine? It was simple. I just ordered this informative series of Time Life books on time travel. I was thinking that in honor of the rock and roll episode, I would go to the 1960s. Would you like to come along? All that free love and undiluted LSD? Sure. Another visitor. <gasps> hey, Rev Jen. Hi, it's Moonshine, the neighborhood bartender. How are you doing, Rev? Awesome, how are you? Great. Hi, Mangina. Hey, Moonshine. Is that crack? No, it's plutonium. Can you smoke it? No, you put it in your time machine. Hey, you want to go uh, to the 60s with Reverend Jen and I? should really get back to the bar and finish my shift. Hey, guys, I brought you some drinks. And seeing that's the rock and roll episode, we're going to make purple haze shooters today. Crazy. Yum. So what you want to do is go to your local liquor store or check the cabinets at your home. You might even have it there. Maybe mom and dad, they they might have it. Yeah, you need some vodka. Any kind of vodka will do. And then grab some raspberry liqueur. There's Cointreau, Razzle Dazz. I see today we've gone with Frujage. Then you want to get a lime or two and some really, really cold ice. Colder the better. Make sure it's so cold that it's frozen into ice cubes. 